Last month, I reviewed Topaz Video Enhanced Software that was version 2.2, and I used some old SD footage to show how that version worked. In this video, I'm going to look at the newly released 2.3 version, and I'll upscale some 720p footage to 4K. I'll be publishing further videos to cover the use of the other features that's like perhaps the most impressive new feature with the 2.3 update and that's the smooth slow motion available now. Or depending on your needs, the smooth conversion of frame rates, say 24p to 60p or 25p or whatever. But in my mind the most useful for me is the new Proteus AI model. It allows you to control the sharpening, removal of noise, compression artifacts, and removing anti-aliasing. I'll be producing separate videos for each of these options in that Proteus model, and they'll be released twice weekly on Sundays and Wednesdays. So make sure you subscribe, and it's important to press the bell so that you're notified when those new tutorials are published. So let's look at the upscaling of the 720p footage to 4K, and at the same time compare the differences in the interface between 2.2 and 2.3 versions. And this is the interface for the 2.2 version. And you can see that now the 2.3 version is on screen, there are no dramatic changes. As you can see, things are much the same here on the right hand side. When you look at all models, you can see that there is the new Proteus and the new Cronus models showing there. The video sizing is the same as the previous version, and your video formats are the same. When you select your selected models, you'll see that there's a new motion jitter or choppy frame rate option. I'm going to select low and progressive for this yachting footage, and then I'll select the selected models in the compare option. And you'll see that it's suggested three choices, Artemis along with Strong Halo and Proteus. When you select Jitter, or the choppy frame rate option, it only shows the Cronus options, and these options are not available with the compare choices. And you use Cronus for the slow motion effects, and it goes up to 2000%. I'll be publishing a video on how to use slow motion option with Cronus. When you select the recommended models, then you can make alterations to those independently. So if we now go to the Protus model, then we can change the specific details for revert compression, to recover detail, to sharpen, to reduce noise, dehalo, and then the option for anti-aliasing or the deblur. I'll be publishing videos on each of these options as well, so watch out for them in the future. But for now, let's look at this SD footage and upscale it to 4K. The model parameters are currently set to default. And first of all, you should start with Auto, and then select the Preview button. And then when you've done your first preview, you can go back to the parameters and adjust them. When you see the three models in the compare window, you'll see that they render independently. So you can see here that the top right is rendering, and then the bottom left, and then finally the bottom right starts. Now you can see the three options are rendered, and you can compare them with the original that scaled at 300%. You can zoom in and out by scrolling the mouse to check for more detail. I suggest you keep the preview frames to something fairly small. You can adjust that at the bottom of your screen. I've set mine to 20, which means I've just got a few frames to compare. You only need to see a few frames to see the differences anyway, and that saves you time with the rendering. Use the pause button to compare the still frames. And when you close it, you can go back to your different models. And as you select those, you can see the changes over on the right hand side. Then you can make further adjustments there. I'm stepping up the sharpening and the deblur, reducing the noise and the dehalo. Then I'll preview that again. And it goes through the different rendering processes as before. 
top right, bottom left, bottom right. And at any time you can stop it and compare the one that you've modified. And in this case we can see that the top right, the Proteus that we've adjusted, has certainly given us a lot more detail than in the original. It's a little overdone, and I can understand why. That's because I've really turned up those sharpening and de-blur parameters. So you might be a bit more conservative with those. But it's good to see the results when they're overdone as a comparison, so you can see what the boundaries are. In this case, you can certainly see a big difference between the top left, that's the original at 300%, and the Proteus on the top right at 4K. And that should work out quite well if you allow for some turning down of sharpening and de blur. So that's it. And now I'm looking forward to the new slow motion options with the Cronus model. That'll be in the next tutorial. See you then.